Hi everybody. Um, today we're going to be working on the York YLAA uh, chiller. It's the scroll chiller, so it has all the scroll compressors. But um, we're going to be looking at the back net and how to set up back net and how it works. Um, because there's been some questions how to access it, um, how to set it up, not having like little problems and hiccups and, and sort of understand it a little bit more, but in simple terms. But if you make your way to the you know, the controls part of the chiller. Find a display. Doesn't matter if the service switch is in the on or off mode, you can access this menu. So simply press the program button and then arrow down four times. One, two, three, four. Press enter and there you are. You're into the back, back net settings. So the first one up is the DE modifier address. That's what the York states. Um, but that is actually the instance number. So if you talk to your controls guy and they're telling you and are asking you what the instance number of the device is, well, it's the modifier address number for York. Now, each digit, so this one's currently set at 20, but each digit where the zero is, it's times 100. So even though it says 20 here, it's actually 2000. So this is unit address. 2000 but as we make our way through we go to the next stage and we go to the modifier offset now this number here can go from 0 to 99 so if you had 99 more devices that you wanted to put into the 2000s um, you can do it here so this unit might be uh, unit number 2000 and then say you had two or three more chillers, you can make the next chiller 2001 and the next chiller 2002. And, and that's how you would do that. So, but if we make our way through there, we can change it just by pressing the enter button and moving along. So you come to the P1. This is very important. So right now we're setting up P1 protocol. So this is the bat, BACnet protocol. All right. Because there's two stages to the controls. There's P1 and P2. And I'll get to that in a bit. But from here, you can change to different things like N2, which is the old York Talk, API printer port, back to back net, and then there's, yeah, I think you guys sort of understand that. But today we're just going to stick with the back net. Um, and then it goes to the manual MAC address, um, unless stated by the controls people, I normally just set it to the same instance number as the DE. Um, address. So we'll make your way through that and you come to the bode rate. Um, this one's currently 76800. Now the bode rate is just the um, speed at which the device can communicate through BACnet. Um, mainly if you have chillers that are in a, in a really large building f furthest away from um, their controls, you, you'd want a higher um, bode rate with many many devices and such. They, you know, they want more of a bode rate, but that'll be specified by the controls guy, um, and you just set up the settings as per what they want. Um, Parity is always none, and stop bits, of course, are just one, unless stated by the controls guy. None, none and one is sort of standard. So that'll be the end of the P1, and that's all you have to set for BACnet. Now, we're going to enter the P2, of course, by because we're just going through the list. Now, none of this is important. None of this... Um, involves BATnet. So P2 is primarily for port 2 and it can be set up for different things. Um, so you can set it up for Modbus, um, unavailable, IO, terminal, you know, it goes through. But API is where I have it set because if this thing faults or if I want to uh, do a maintenance um, check on it, I can hook up my laptop and I can print off faults and running operation data. So we're going to keep it on that. Um, doesn't really matter what the MAC address is on this one. Uh, I set the bode rate to 1200 because when you do a printer port um, with your computer, you got to match all the bode rates. So I have a program that, that'll run that bode rate and my, the cable that communicates to this device, I have to set that at a, at a certain bode rate. So it all communicates effectively. All right, P2 parity, stop bits one. And then RS232, because that's that's what we use for the printer port. Um, hopefully this um, helps you and it solves some problems. Or if you're commissioning today or working on a chili you want back net, um, 
Hopefully this makes life a little easier. All right, thank you. It's starting to rain, so I gotta get out of here. Cheers.